Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Aubrey Flaker and I'm the kids ministry director at UFC and we're starting something new. So the purpose of this video and the videos to come are to kind of follow up the Bible story video. So if you haven't watched the Bible story video, I want you to pause and go watch this that one first before you continue. If you have, awesome, continue watching. And oh, the video that you should watch this week is Being Like Jesus. So um, I have a question for you. And I want you to think about what is it that you need in a normal day? <clears throat> so I'm thinking I need water. I need a car to get to work. Um, I need a toothbrush. That's something that I feel like I need. But what are some things that you need? So if you have someone next to you, I want you to talk to them about that. Today we're going to talk about what God gives us and how he gives us what we need to be more like Jesus. Our story today was about Peter and he wrote a letter and Peter talked about, um, he wrote a letter encouraging the other Christians like you and me. Uh, when they're persecuted. Do you guys know what the word persecuted means? So persecution is when someone is um, treated badly or with hostility because of something that they believe in. So like believing in Jesus. And Jesus knew about persecution. Jesus was persecuted to the point of dying on a cross. But Jesus' death made it possible for us to live with God forever. So we've been having conversations about the Holy Spirit the last couple of weeks at Kids Church, and I have a question that I want you to think about. Uh, how does the Holy Spirit help Christians? Well, the Holy Spirit was sent to be with us while Jesus is not here with us on earth, and the Holy Spirit comforts us and shows us our sin and guides us as we live um, to be uh, for God's glory. Now, Peter also in his letter, uh, wanted Christians to live like Jesus. So he encouraged us to do that. That means even when we face persecution, uh, we need to sh show others the same love and mercy and grace that Jesus showed us. And, um, before we end, I want to pray for us. And so in order to pray, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to fold your hands and bow your head. So Father, thank you for making us. I pray that we can strive to be more like Jesus every day. Help us see the way that you are working in our lives. Help us to be honest about the ways that we still need to grow and humble our hearts so that we can obey you. Thank you for all your many blessings. In Jesus name, amen. Now, Three things I want you to consider before you leave. And you can talk about this after the video is over. Uh, what did the story today teach you about God and about the gospel? The second question is, what did the story teach you about yourself? Did it teach you anything? And then how or who can you share this story with? So, thank you for joining us. And have a wonderful day.